Gemini, welcome to the heart spread for the end of September. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, eight card pull and looks at uh, you and who's in your heart, I'd say. I'd go full corny with it, say who's in your heart, who's on your mind. I look at it too as the first house, seventh house. Uh, if I call out like astrological aspects, as I do astrology too, uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for this really just kind of gotta keep in mind. Not necessarily gonna be a sun, Scorpio, but I mean, Venus and Scorpio. And by the way, it's my Venus return because uh, Venus is in Scorpio. I think it's within one degree of my Venus at 12. To check to be sure when it's it's, just, it's here. <laughs> it's a couple day deal. I don't know. It depends on hitting anything else. I'm good, uh, but typically it's pretty sweet light energy. Great time to uh, schedule uh, there. I think during every Venus return, you know, do it out ahead. Like what is it, 18 month transit, and um, you know, get the time off and go on a romantic vacation, whatever that means. <laughs> Yeah, take that time. To, it's a great time, I think, to just have a little luxury and romance. You know, eat the bonbons. <laughs> Going with that vacation mentality, it looks like you've been doing the tighten up for like two years, but okay, now you're going to Cancun and you know, you're going to hit the buffet. <laughs> uh, but sometimes, you know, there's time for that, though. <laughs> Let's see. This is your energy, Gemini's, Two of Pentacles. And I look at this kind of where you're at a little bit. I'm trying to look at you individually, get kind of an idea um, um, where you're at separate from this person you're thinking of. Um, and it's pretty balanced. You know, I see this as um, it takes energy. You see, you know, um, they're Pentacles. So you're uh, someone that's... Uh, working to keep their life well balanced, you know, get a little exercise, uh, you might have a, st a strict kind of schedule or you're that moving that way, um, you know, you've got to have uh, you know, a little time to meditate, a little time for entertainment, <laughs> maybe like I just said, when it's your Venus return, you know, go take that time out, um, but um, this takes like effort, you know, to me this is someone just kind of like uh, living their life, you know, um, it's not good or bad. It's not really the energy that screams out, you know, oh, I'm looking for love, though. You know, it's like you're kind of busy. This is kind of when you're busy doing your own thing, to me. And three of wands. Now, your person here, Gemini, is looking for love. <laughs> so, really wouldn't be surprised if you met this person on a dating site. Um, if not, then keep in mind that this is, I make a joke, but, you know, it's our own cosmology. If I did have a dating site based on astrology, which I probably won't because it's like a pipe dream. <laughs> it sounds good, you know, on the surface till you kind of get into it. Uh, three of Wands is, uh, would be the name of my dating site, you know, so this is like looking for love. <laughs> uh, in all the wrong places, all the right places, but looking. You no. Know? But it's also implied to me, Gemini, that they approached you initially. You know, you could have been the one in the store doing whatever, and they could have, like, made the effort to come and find a reason to talk to you. Simple as that. Or it could have been dating site. <laughs> now, here you are, Ace of Swords. Now, this reads how you're reacting to this person in, in distinct from your Two of Pentacles. It's really grounded energy here, Gemini, I think. I mean, Ace of Swords is a sincere, direct... Um, Honest, um, decisive, um, and it also can be cutting, you know, boundaries, establishing boundaries. Um, this could be ultimatums, giving ultimatums. Um, I'm not going to look for that yet. Let's see how they're reacting to you. Um, let's see. The Knight of, Pen Knight of Pentacles. Huh. I kind of like this. Uh, I was really prepared to go negative on your guy. Uh, here, Jim and I, uh, I shouldn't have said on your, on your person, guy or girl, <laughs> uh, 
but the fact that they're the Knight of Pentacles and they're actually facing the reading is huge transition from coming in as a three of wands. So, and uh, maybe like there was some, it, like you set them straight. Like maybe this is just simply like, as you saying something like, just as an example, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to kind of dick around or play around or I'm not a, an idiot or a child, you know, I'm a serious person you're dealing with here. And a little bit harsh because maybe they came in with this three of wands energy, a little immature kind of energy, a little, little low vibe, you know. Uh, but yet you're interested in them. And I mean, this kind of like all kind of straighten them up. This is your story. This is your story. All kind of straighten them up. I mean, this could have been like something really brief. You, you know, maybe they got it, you know, like uh, really hard. Like you just say one little thing, a couple words, and kind of maybe they picked up on it. Um, well, they must have it in them to be grounded because, you know, it can't be a Nine of Pentacles without it. So um, I'd say that they're approaching you in the very best way in response to whatever you said to them. I mean, th another way this could play, you simply said to them, yeah, I, I'm falling in love with you. I'm really, you know, into you. Um, and it's just simple as that. And that turned them around from this. In other words, what, what didn't happen as an example Oh, they deleted all the dating accounts because now they're the Knight of Pentacles and they're focused on you. And the Knight of Pentacles, that focuses. That's the whole thing. Uh, and so logically, they would drop, you know, I did, I would, you know, as soon as it's there. It's like, yeah, I know because of the energy. I don't want my energy divided with other women, you know, that are not my soulmate. That's like 101, you know. Um, but they drop it. I see them dropping it. Raises itself. <laughs> um, the star. Okay. So this is your advice, Gemini, an Aquarius uh, card. Let's just look at that in your chart. You know, right now you got Jupiter, uh, which right now is trying Mercury. It's a fantastic uh, transit here. Just we're just a day off this uh, full moon. Um, but this is the hopes and dreams and wishes uh, card. And I think. I kind of get the feeling like this is spirit trying to say, because this is the position of, I should say, how, what your advice is for your dealings with this person personally, right? And so I think it's kind of like recognize that you manifested this and it has a positive feeling to it. It's not like, oh, well, you know, you got, you messed up the beds, you got to sleep in it. It's just, it's more like, Spirit is saying, uh, Jim and I, I don't, I don't think you're comprehending here what you have here with this other person because, uh, you know, what you have is what you wanted, you know, so maybe you don't see it yet. Let's see what your person's advice is. I'm liking this, guys. I'm liking your person, I'm going to tell you. Um, so, this is how they're reacting to you. Um, and, I mean, that's somebody that's, I'll tell you this about them, they're sincere, uh, they're, they will hold space for you, they're in it for the long term, they feel really strongly about you, and they're willing to make, the, your love for them could be a mission, and they will see it through. There's an element of that too, there's knights here, these actions, but now, advice from Spirit, Ten of Pentacles, my God. Um, I got to see the Ten of Pentacles here, is, if you're cross-watching, it's like, keep doing exactly what you're doing. You're just absolutely doing the right thing. You're totally solid. Gemini, your person is absolutely the right, doing the right thing. Totally solid, totally reliable, totally honest. Doesn't mean you're going to fall in love with them. I don't know. But Spirit, I think, is trying to tell you, it's like, I think it's trying to tell you that you, uh, that you may have something more here than you realize. Something really amazing. Um, like maybe it's like this person's a gift, but you haven't really opened them up yet, and you're at a distance. Something like that. Believe me, you get gifts sometimes. Tower, man. Okay, we'll freak out over this one. But this is the advice from spirit for the relationship as a whole. Something has to come down. And it's at the crux of uh, the, your reading here. 
uh, the heart spread, the core of everything. It's advice for the relationship as a whole. I look at the composite chart. This other part of reading is more like your synastry chart where the energies are dynamic. And here we're just looking like what's going on. Um, somebody's got to let go of something. I see it as you, uh, Gemini, and not to call you out or anything like that. It's not what the energy I want to say here, but I think your person is solid here, and I think so. I mean, because you're getting advice like the star, and really feel that the advice. Now it's simple as this: if you're watching this, thank you. By the way, like, share, subscribe, all that. I always forget to say, <laughs> you know. But if you you could be watching this and going, oh my God, I totally know that this is my person. And I totally see the turnaround, and I'm totally realizing what they are, that they're like what I manifested, like a soulmate or twin flame or life partner if you're smart <laughs> or old, uh, because I think that's kind of here. There's something here. And so what tower has to come down for you? And I think it goes back to where you came in with this two of pentacles. Uh, maybe this is like being busy all the time to sort of distract yourself from something. You know, um, and when this person comes in, they're clearly looking, bringing that energy. They're they're looking, they're hunting, and you know they're coming to you. You know they're definitely the chaser here, your person. And what's going to happen? Like I say it like this: if you have these routines of your life and stuff, and you know if you have a serious relationship, then this person dead serious. I mean, they're not messing around. They, they want to, I don't know what, uh, they want to be serious, they want to move into you, they want to be boy and girl. <laughs> you know, they, I don't think they want to be your boyfriend. They're willing, they understand it may take time, and they're willing to put in the effort and the time, um, but that's what they want. You know, they want something solid. They want a, fam a solid family, and I think the Spirit's telling them that you can provide it, whoever this person is. You know, I think that's why whatever it was you said to them really straightened them out because they weren't that far off, you know. They lost themselves a little bit or something and then as soon as they locked eyes with you and they felt the soulmate energy, they just straightened right up, you know. Um, I'm not saying they're drinking or anything, but it'd be that kind of energy. Like, they would definitely a drop in the dating sites, you know. It's like, damn, do, do, do. It's like, because they're just focused on you. Uh, but I think this is what you're going to be letting go of, is the routine that you have. You're going to get, like, this would get you way out of your comfort zone, Jim and I. And um, that may have been what you what this Ace of Swords was about. You know, too, it could feel like to me, like you basically said to them, you know, just an example, you could have said to them, you know, I really love you, but I want you to understand I'm never going to have children. I don't want children. Um, something that comes a little harsh like that or, you know, um, you know, really interested in you, but you, you look like a party boy. You know, I don't know what you think I am, but I'm a substantial person. I'm not a party girl. I've got a life, I a life here to live. You know, it takes a lot of attention. I need kids to take care of work, the home. Um, and it just straightened them right out. And they were like, wow, I get it. And they're like, you know, I'm really not a party guy. You can't light a pentacles, <laughs> backed up by a ten of pentacles. And this is going to bring this tower down. It's going to be your life. It's like when you go into a relationship, it's, even if it, everything's great, it's stressful, right? Because there's got to be changes. You know, because if you're going to be more, you know, look at the bottom of the deck, which I count more and more in the heart spread now, four of wands. This is what your person wants, four wands. So definitely it's another one, Gemini balls in your court. If you like it that way, you got it. Spirit's telling you it's the star here. This is a manifestation of what you hoped for and love, what you wished for, what you dreamed about, Gemini. Let's see, two of wands. They come in as the three of wands. Hmm. And this has come between your Ace of Swords and your Knight of Pentacles. I will clarify this uh, in this heart spread. Um, but it's like right now in your relationship, and you know, this two of one is very contemplative here in the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck. It hadn't even, you know, you didn't even on the ground yet, you know, like in the normal one, there's a little backpack, there's two paths, ready to go. This one's really 
in this thinking about it phase. And I just get this feeling like, Jim and I, you're backing your person off here, but they're gonna wait. So if that's any doubt. And um, I think at some point, what's gonna happen, because you've got the, you know, why well, I wanna even clarify, I don't even wanna clarify. I mean, you got the four wands clarifying it. This is the bottom of the deck. You know, I kind of look at that to clarify or speak to the outcome. This is the overall energy. Um, but it's like this is kind of off in the distance or something, or you can't see it. And I think they see it and stuff. And um, you're doing something protective, which is taking times. Because then look at the progression we'll get here. If you go two of wands, three of wands, four of wands. I mean, it's simplistic, but it is real. And wands are actions and wands are passion. You know, and I don't, you know, other than the star, I mean, you don't. You don't have cups here. Um, so what you're looking at is some time. And frankly, um, the advice is, uh, Jim and I, that it's a very good thing. That if you did cut things off, if you took some time, I just wouldn't burn the bridge. If, if this is a decision you haven't made yet. Um, because um, if this person holds space for you, you know, again, heart wants what the heart wants. But rethink it some months later or whatever in uh, weeks it might be three four uh, weeks or months time frame and um, um, you may want to give them a chance guys let me know thank you